This will be the second video in two part video series on acute renal failure. In this video, we will discuss the clinical features, diagnosis and treatment of ARF. In part one of this video, we defined acute renal failure, study the etiology and types and also the rifle criteria of acute renal failure. Click here to watch the first part of this video. Discussing the clinical features of acute renal failure and first we will talk about the pre-renal ARF. Most of the patients of pre-renal ARF have a history of poor fluid intake or a history of fluid loss in the form of diarrhea, vomiting or blood loss. And most of the signs that are associated with pre-renal ARF are consistent with the findings of a dehydrated patient like low blood pressure, tachycardia, feeble pulse, reduced jugular venous pressure, a decreased skin pinch, sunken eyes, dry mucous membranes. These patients may also have orthostatic hypotension. Low urine output is almost a consistent feature with pre-renal ARF. Renal ARF has different types of histories depending upon the etiology which causes ARF. A history of previous sore throat which may indicate nephritic syndrome due to post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis may present with a triad of hematuria, hypertension and edema due to volume retention. Rhabdomyolysis is also an important cause of renal type of ARF and patients with rhabdomyolysis have features like decolored urine and muscular pain due to breakdown of muscle fibers. These patients can also have a history of coma or recent seizures which may have initiated rhabdomyolysis. Allergic interstitial nephritis is also an important cause of renal type of ARF and the patients present with fevers, rash and arthralgias. These patients can also have exposure to medicine like NSAIDs. Post renal ARF is mainly caused by obstruction to the urine flow which can be due to urethral obstruction due to enlarged prostate in a case of benign prostatic hyperplasia and these patients have features like urgency, frequency and hesitancy which are features of benign prostatic hyperplasia. Renal calculi can also obstruct the urethra or bladder and cause post renal ARF. These patients present with flank pain and hematuria. Some words on how we diagnose the type of ARF. Blood electrolyte profile is very important which shows a raised serum urea and creatinine concentration. Various type of electrolyte abnormalities are present like raised serum potassium, a raised serum phosphate and decreased serum calcium concentration. Urine analysis is also important which shows a low urine volume. In pre-renal type of ARF, urea concentration of urine is greater as compared to creatinine and osmolality of urine is raised. In renal ARF, we can have red cell casts which are usually immune mediated. Renal imaging is also an important modality of investigation which involves X-ray abdomen and ultrasonography which are usually helpful in cases of post-renal ARF to detect stones or enlarged prostate. Renal biopsy helps in pathological diagnosis of conditions like immune mediated renal damage. The treatment of acute renal failure is mainly associated with correction of the fluid and electrolyte imbalance and also the treatment of underlying cause. Please note that we will not be able to discuss the treatment of individual topics in detail due to limitation of time. Fluid imbalance is mainly associated with management of hypervolemia through salt and water restriction diuretics like furosemide. Different type of electrolyte imbalances can occur. Most prominent of them are the hyperkalemia which is managed by a dietary restriction of potassium, loop diuretics and potassium binding resins. Hyperphosphatemia is important complication of ARF which is managed by using phosphate binders like aluminum hydroxide which decrease the absorption of phosphate through the gut. Acidosis, if severe, can be managed by oral or IV sodium bicarbonate. And also a frequent monitoring of fluid and electrolyte levels of the body is required. Treatment of the underlying cause. Since the main problem in pre-renal ARF is less blood going to the kidneys, the most obvious step will be to improve the blood supply of the kidneys. 
and fluid replacement is done depending on the type of fluid lost. Blood can be replaced in case of blood loss. Crystalloids like sodium, saline and colloids like albumin can be used in burns and pancreatitis. Inotropic drugs like dopamine are also used in case of heart failure to improve the contractility of the heart. Renal ARF Glomerulonephritis is mainly managed by immunosuppressive drugs and corticosteroids. Rhabdomyolysis is managed by IV fluids in a magnitude of 10 liters per day. The treatment of post-renal acute renal failure is simple as it involves the removal of obstruction in the form of surgical removal of prostate known as prostatectomy or stone removal. Thank you so much for watching this video. This was all about acute renal failure. Like our channel on YouTube for all the upcoming videos and make sure to like our channel on Facebook for flashcards and upcoming notifications.